With COVID-19 changing the lives of everyone in the world, its origin has remained a mystery. The newly unclassified interim report from the U.S. House Permanent Select Committee on Intelligence stated that the origin of COVID-19 was overwhelmingly likely to be the Wuhan lab in China. Congressman Jim Jordan wanted to get to the bottom of this fundamental question. 17 months, 150 million cases worldwide, 600,000 Americans lost their lives. Where did this thing start? Did it jump from an animal to humans or, or was it a leak from a lab, a lab in Wuhan, China? American people probably like to know, after all, they've had their liberties assaulted for the past year. Secretary of State Blinken said, we've got real concerns about the methodology and process that went into the WHO report. The unclassified interim report titled, in Focus COVID-19 and the Wuhan Institute of Virology was published on May 19th in the House Permanent Select Committee on Intelligence. The report stated, quote, there is overwhelming circumstantial evidence to support a lab leak as the origination of COVID-19. The evidence in the report includes China's history of lab leaks resulting in infections. Warnings from U.S. diplomats in China as early as 2017 that the Wuhan lab was conducting dangerous research on coronaviruses without following necessary safety protocols, risking the accidental outbreak of a pandemic. Gain-of-function research being conducted at the Wuhan lab that made coronaviruses more infectious in humans. Several researchers at the Wuhan lab became sick with COVID-19-like symptoms in the fall of 2019. The involvement in the Wuhan lab of the Chinese military, which has a documented biological weapons program. Multiple attempts by Beijing to cover up the true circumstances of the COVID-19 outbreak. According to the Department of State fact sheet, activity at the Wuhan Institute of Virology, as early as 2016, the Wuhan Institute of Virology, or WIV, researchers were conducting experiments involving RATG-13. RATG-13 is the bat coronavirus identified by the WIV in January 2020 as the closest sample to the SARS-CoV-2 virus, the virus that causes COVID-19. The Wuhan Institute of Virology has not been transparent or consistent about its record of studying viruses similar to the COVID-19 virus, including RATG-13. The new report lists key events. In 2019, between October 7th and October 24th, uncorroborated media reports indicate there was no cell phone activity at the Wuhan Institute of Virology. In the fall of 2019, researchers inside the WIV became sick. In 2020, Chinese national health officials ordered the destruction of coronavirus samples from the WIV laboratory and suppressed WIV records. The Office of the Director of National Intelligence issues a public statement asserting, quote, the intelligence community also concurs with the wide scientific consensus that the COVID-19 virus was not man-made or genetically modified. Communist China has prevented independent investigators and global health agencies from interviewing any of the Wuhan Institute of Virology researchers, including those who became sick in the fall of 2019. The report concluded, quote, to protect American citizens from future pandemics, the U.S. government must place more pressure on China to allow full, credible investigations of the source of the COVID-19 pandemic and to allow probes of the likelihood that it resulted from a lab leak. The Republicans in the committee urged to have a hearing to find out more, given Communist China's long history of cover-up regarding such crises. Congressman Stephen Scalise opposed the Biden administration's idea of giving away the intellectual property of the COVID-19 vaccine to Communist China for free, which would undermine the very protections that American companies enjoy. Mr. Chairman, we ought to have a hearing in this committee on the origins of COVID-19. There may be other committees that might look at it, but as Mr. Jordan pointed out, where this thing started. President Biden 
needs to just come out and say he's not going to give away our IP. Our friends around the world are saying this would be ridiculous to do. When the German chancellor is saying don't do it because they know how dangerous that would be, uh, especially giving it to China, who does not have a good record not only on intellectual property, it's bad enough that they steal intellectual property all the time. Mr. Chairman, our charter says prepare for future pandemics. How else? The best way to prepare for future pandemics is to figure out how this pandemic started. And we need you to take their recommendations seriously and fix the problems they identify. We ought to do actual investigation and hearing to look into it because we sure don't want this to happen again. The select subcommittee's investigation is ongoing. This hearing is just the beginning.